CNN. 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 Radio. Okay, so let's just cross the street. The only way I could get an interview with Rochelle Ballantyne was if I walked with her from a school on New York's Lower East Side to a nearby subway stop. There's not enough hours in the day to get everything done, so I need to get where I need to get, do what I need to get done, and then if I find time, sleep. The 17-year-old walks at a very fast pace, and she lets nothing get in her way. That's also how she pursues her number one goal, to become the first ever female African-American chess master. I'm CNN's Steve Kastenbaum. I've never been the first anything, so... Having that title next to my name is going to, oh, man, it's going to feel amazing. (laughs) Ballantyne's tale is quite amazing when you consider her life story. Her father left the home when she was 10 years old. Her mother struggles to support Rochelle and her three siblings in a small apartment in the East Flatbush section of Brooklyn. She learned the game of chess from her grandmother when she was in the third grade. She didn't want me to watch TV. She wanted me to like focus and concentrate because she knew that chess could get me far in life and I'm grateful for it. Then the program Chess in the Schools came to her elementary school. She got hooked up with a good coach who saw that she had a natural talent for the game. Soon she was playing in her first tournament. I guess I was really scared because I was like one of the only girls and it was kind of intimidating. And how'd you do? I lost my first game. When was your first win, do you remember? It was the round after. Were you hooked at that point? I think I was hooked as soon as I started playing. And when my coach told me that I was ready to play in tournaments, that's when I was first hooked because he had faith in me, he had confidence in me, and I was beating all the guys, so it was fun. And that's when I like really decided, that, yeah, I could really do this. Ballantyne was crushing her opponents in a sport dominated by men, or at her level, boys. That only fueled her desire to achieve greatness. After playing in tournaments for eight years, she earned the status of expert. It takes a long time to do that under the rules created by chess's governing body. So when you win a game, your rating goes up, or when you lose a game, your rating goes down, and if you keep winning, your rating goes up. So when you hit 2,000, that means you're an expert. She's just 200 points, or a few wins away, from achieving that goal of becoming the first female African-American chess master. So I told myself that I'm going to do it before December, like before the end of the year. So I'm going to stick to that. I'm going to play more, play more tournaments, and hopefully it happens. When I push myself, then nothing can stop me. She learned that lesson a few years back when she entered IS-318. The intermediate school in Brooklyn, where more than 70% of the students live below the federal poverty line, is home to the best chess team in the entire country. Their story is featured in a recently released documentary film called Brooklyn Castle. It started with this little group of kids. We got a couple of boards, and they came in and started playing, and we decided that we would take a try going to the Nationals because it would be a great experience for the children from 318 to travel to another state to enter in a chess competition. And we won. Then you win again. This goes on for 10 years. We're still winning. You get the idea where this inspirational story takes you. A bunch of unassuming kids from working class and immigrant families, kids facing a whole host of challenges go from being unknown to destroying every team they come up against. This is the room where they practice every day of the week. It's where teachers and coaches realized that Rochelle Ballantyne had a gift. We have the best chess program in in the country. That's John Galvin. The assistant principal oversees IS-318's chess team. So how good are they? Our team last year was the only team in the history of the United States as a middle school to defeat every high school in America. So all the most prestigious schools uh, in America, high schools, were all checkmated by the team from IS-318. Dozens upon dozens of tournament trophies line the walls at this school. These students are like the Yankees of chess. And Ballantyne, when she was on the team, was like their Joe DiMaggio a consistent winner. 
Galvin has no doubt that she will become a chess master very soon. Rochelle was one of our best uh, players that we've ever had in our, in our school. She won several uh, individual national championships. When she was in ninth grade, after she had graduated IS-318, she won a college scholarship to the University of Texas at Dallas, even when she was a ninth grader. As Ballantyne and I got to the subway station on our walk, I asked her if she felt a lot of pressure to win. All the time, because because I've gotten to the point where I at where I'm at. Always, everyone always expects me to do good, and when I don't, it hurts that much more. What's so amazing about her success story is how she finds a way to achieve these wins while juggling so many other things: volunteering in after-school programs, applying to colleges and taking on responsibilities at home. And then last year, my mom had another baby. And so that was like more of a financial burden on our family, and it was hard. Because she's the oldest in her family, the burden fell on her to take care of her siblings when mom wasn't home. I mean, sometimes it sucks because I don't get enough sleep and I'm not prepared for school the next day, but I guess it prepares me for life, so I have to be grateful. You had to grow up fast. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my mom hates it because she's like, Michelle, stop growing up. Life has thrown a lot of obstacles in her path, but just like the way she walks through New York, Ballantyne plows right through them and keeps her eye on the goal. Down on the subway platform, we talked about what she wants to do beyond chess. I want to get into UPenn, and I want to become a lawyer, a uh, criminal or corporate, I haven't decided yet. You plan this stuff out while you're riding the subway? I do. <laughs> I dream about my future all the time. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone who thinks Rochelle Ballantyne won't fulfill those dreams. As I record this, she's playing in another chess tournament, earning more points as she closes in on becoming the first-ever female African-American chess master. Steve Kastenbaum, CNN, New York.